I just want to start off by thanking God for not just being there for me, but also for slowing me down. Even though this situation was beyond hard for me, I find joy knowing that if God didn't start where he did, something much bigger could have happened. I also want to thank Alabama football for seeing my potential and giving me a second chance. I am grateful for everyone who supported me through this hard time. Every day just thinking the possibility of it all being over with devastated me. I didn't know if I'd get to play football again, but I continue to work out and stay close with the Lord and those who love me unconditionally. During these times, it helped me to keep my mind off it, but when I was by myself looking at social media and what everybody had to say about it, it just felt like it happened again. I couldn't sleep at night. Everyone's always going to have something to say about you, whether you're right or wrong. But I appreciate my family and my dad for always being there for me and the constant advice. My mom for always making time to talk to me. And my grandma for always being there for me since I was young at all my events and games and Byron. Also being a mentor for me and all the college trips we went on all the time. My trainers, Donnie Lee and Mike McCoy for pushing me to train hard and just helping me take my game to another level. I was doing things knowing I shouldn't to try to fit in, but not everybody your friend. And I learned this when I looked around and saw that our morals didn't align. And to all the athletes here tonight, just keep pursuing your dreams. God got a designated path for you and all your talents are from the Lord. Do not let anyone or anything distract you from your purpose and keep a small circle of people that truly love and care about you and always work hard because it'll pay off in the end. Thank you. Small. Yes, small.